Hello everyone, it's Lindsay and I am journaling with the September Faith Art Box from Creative Retreat Kits. You can find a complete unboxing of this kit over on my channel. I will have that link down below for you guys. But I am working in 2 Corinthians uh, chapter 12 today, which is one of the verse sections for the devotional content. And I'm going to be creating these crepe like a crepe paper embellishment. So I saw these online, thought I'd give them a try. And they are great for Bible journaling because they add a little bit of a dimension, but they're not too bulky and they're really easy. So uh, here are the things I've pulled out to make these. And this roll of crepe paper, I got mine from Hobby Lobby, but you probably could get it from the dollar store for you know a lot cheaper. Uh, I chose white because you can color it whatever color you want. So I've cut off about 20 inches or so. And I'm gonna color this with some sponge sugar distress ink. And I found that the quickest, easiest way is just to rub the ink pad over the top of the crepe paper. And this just tints it this really light pink color. So by getting white, I can color it whatever kind of color I want with whatever mediums I want. I just thought I could get a little bit more versatility out of the white. So I'm just sliding that over the one side and now we can go ahead and fold this over several times because this is pretty wide and I need it to be a little bit smaller. So I'm gonna cut about a quarter inch off the top there to make it a more narrow strip. And then you're just gonna kinda of do this accordion fold. So folding in and pinching it together, it's really hard to explain and I had to watch about three different videos to finally get my brain and my hands to work together to do this. So you may not get it off the first go. If you do, you're awesome. You're so much better than me because I really had to practice this. But you can see I'm just making these little pleats and pivoting around and holding it in the center there and just continuing to pleat this. So I'm going to be making tons of these. The end I just kind of tuck in so it kind of fits in there natural. Now mine is not a perfect circle. Like I said, I just made, this is the first time I've ever done this. So I just sat down today, watched a video, made a couple as a trial run, and then got on camera. So um, I'm sure it gets better over time. I used my tiny attacher and added some staples to the center just to hold everything together. And now we can dress it up. So I have this deco paper, this is like this adhesive backed glitter paper from Tim Holtz that I found it uh, Tuesday mornings. And I also have a scalloped one and a half inch circle punch. And really at this point you can add whatever embellishments you want to this little uh, crepe paper piece. So because this is adhesive backed, it doesn't punch super clean, um, but I like that I don't have to add any adhesive. It's already got sticky. So I just pull the backing off of that glitter paper and then add it to the center there to cover the staples. You could use cardstock or an embellishment, you know, something like that. One of the stickers from the kit. I am going to use this sticker from the kit that says the strength of the Lord and kind of dress up the center. So you can see how quick and easy that was. You can make a whole bunch of those, uh, the bases of them, and then just have them ready to go and add embellishments to the center. So now I can go start adding things to the page. This page really is very simple. I didn't want to spend a whole lot of time dressing it up. I am going to add some color to the background. So I have this ink. This is one of the Creative Retreat inks. This is Frosted Mint. Uh, this is a chalk, a permanent chalk ink. Uh, they do have a tendency to bleed through the Bible pages if you stamp with it on an unprepped page. But I've really been loving this method of applying inks with a makeup brush. So this is just a makeup brush that I found from the Dollar Tree for a dollar. And I get this really soft effect. I've been using this with Distress Oxides, Distress Inks, and I thought I'd give it a go with this Creative Retreat ink. Um, the nice thing about the Creative Retreat inks, this one in particular, is the colors really match the colors in these kits. So... I can brush that on and just keep building up the color as we go along and just adds this really soft look. So while I'm doing that, like I said, I'm working in 2 Corinthians chapter 12. I'm journaling verses 9 and 10. I'm not going to go too in-depth on the verses and things. Danielle covers in the devotional content so well. She does such a good job with the devotional content this month. But um, these verses say, But he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, I will boast all the more gladly of my weaknesses, so that the power of Christ may rest upon me. For the sake of Christ, then, I am, cont I am content 
with weaknesses, insults, hardships, persecutions, and calamities. For when I am weak, then I am strong. And I love this. It's just such a good reminder that, you know, our weaknesses and those moments that we go through and the hardships and all that he's talking about here um, are moments for God to show up and show up big and show how strong he is and um, just give us the opportunity to point to God and not us and our strength or our abilities um, in those weak moments are moments for God to just show up and do what he does best and I, I love that reminder we kind of sometimes get into this whole pity party mentality and wishing that you know our circumstances could be different or we could have a different set of skills or whatever it might be. But um, in reality, it's not about us. It's, you know, an opportunity for others to see God in us. And I just love that reminder. So I would encourage you to pick up this kit if you haven't already. Danielle does a great job with devotional content. Like I said, I won't go too much into it because she really does a good job covering it um, in the devotionals. So I just wanted to get it on here, this um, big, bold statement. So this will say, the strength of the Lord is made perfect in my weakness. I love that there is a variety of those um, word fetty and the big word stickers and you've got the stamp set so you can kind of spell that out a variety of ways. And I am going to go ahead and highlight the verses. This is a Faber-Castell brush marker. This is one of the small brush markers and not the big brush markers. But you can see how that green ink in the background just kind of gives a soft effect. I was trying to keep it kind of soft. I didn't outline my stickers and things, but I just felt like it needed a little something. So you know me, I'm going to pull out the watercolors. We're going to add some black watercolor splatters just to add a little contrast to the page. Um, I could have gone in and really added a lot of embellishments and, and things to that um, ephemera piece at the top and I could have gone nuts but I really wanted to show you guys it doesn't take very much with some of these entries you can really just have kind of a bold title I've left myself a big chunk of room down at the bottom there to write out a prayer and I've kind of been all about that leaving myself some room for you know journaling my heart out there so there is that and I was gonna leave it at this but I thought well let's add a little bit more of this crepe paper so this is the piece that I had cut off um, in the very beginning there and so I've just added some a double-sided adhesive to the page and I'm just kind of pleating this crepe paper directly onto the page almost kind of like washi tape down here so it's just adding a little accent piece of that pink crepe paper I love the texture of that I am going to be making tons of those crepe paper embellishments so I hope you guys are on board with it because they were super easy and really cute and fun here I've just kind of layered up some more of the scrap pieces that I had on my desk um, and just kind of creating a little like fanned out effect for a tab. I will go ahead and use my tiny attacher to keep those all together and then I can just adhere it down with some tape. I love that this adds some texture and some fun without being super super bulky. So um, I tried this with some other embellishments and they were just really bulky but this paper really gets flattened out um, and sits fine in my Bible. Go ahead and use some of the Word Fetty stickers and uh, spell out here you are faithful and add one of the little wonky hearts i love that the wonky hearts this month are a little more wonky they're a little different than past months and i, li I like that they all have kind of a different style to them so there's the tab and that is it for the page today. So if you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave those down below. Go check out the blog post um, for more close-up photos and check out what all the other ladies are doing on the team. And head on over to Creative Retreat and order the kit if you have not already. Those links will be down in the description box. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. And until next time, thank you so much. Bye-bye.